So I went and bought one of these Klein Tools GFCI outlet testers uh, because these outlets at my house, a couple of them just aren't working and I'm trying to diagnose what is going on with them. So this comes with the batteries that you need uh, to put in. You just remove this screw in the back here and you can put the two batteries in. It takes a couple, a couple uh, double A's. Uh, on the cover, you can see all the LEDs that are available to give you information. So you've got these two lights at the bottom, uh, correct and a fault detected. You've got a test button, power button, and a reset button. But then all on the display, you're going to be able to see all these different options. So the battery power on the top right, um, whether or not it's a GFCI connected outlet or not, the voltage going through it. And then issues. So if it's correct, it'll say correct. Uh, but if you've got issues like an open ground, a neutral, a hot, that's something connected wrong, it's going to tell you that. So I'm going to go ahead and test this on a couple known bad outlets. Uh, take this uh, cover off here. And here's one that is not giving me anything. So I push the reset button and I push the test button and there's like nothing connected to this thing. And the circuit breakers are all good in the house. So really not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the Klein tool monitor there. See if I get anything back. Uh, oh, I'm gonna head turn the power on, don't forget that. But I plug it in and I don't get anything. I get zero readings because it's not detecting anything. And I get an open and a hot um, mention there uh, also. So the device, you know, when it's not plugged in anything, that's what it typically will say. And so clearly I got something wrong with that outlet. I'm just going to replace the whole outlet, try to figure out what's going wrong. So when it's into an outlet that is working properly, you can run the test right from here and it'll test that GFCI outlet for you. Uh, but one like that one, completely dead. So I'm going to go ahead and check out this second one here. This one's been a problem for me for a while. It's been lit up like this with that indicator light, but no matter what I do here, I can't get it to reset, I can't get it to test. And again, I don't have a circuit breaker that corresponds to this uh, showing me that there's a problem. So I figured this device would be pretty helpful for me to go ahead and test that. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. And when I do that, I get that red indicator light saying there's a problem. And then on the top here of the display, it shows, yeah, it's sensing 30 volts, but I've got an open ground and neutral issue. So I'm gonna go ahead and research that, figure out what could be wrong with the programming or the wiring behind this plug to give me that type of error. Uh, but that's what's going on there. Uh, go ahead and press this test button, see if that does anything. No, we won't in this scenario because it's just not working right, so. So that's how these work. Let's go over to a known good outlet that one over here and we'll test that out also this guy here pretty sure he's working press the test button press the reset button it goes back and now i'll go ahead and plug in and i get a green light i get 123 volts of ac and an indicator that yep it's working it's correct let me run the test here press the test, drops down, take, took a split second there uh, to, to release, tell, tells you 0 0.06 seconds for the GFCI to kick in. Uh, I got 30 volts um, displayed there. I'm gonna go ahead and just remove this and then hit reset and then I'm back to normal on that plug. So those are the indicators of a GFCI that is working. So yeah, overall, very cool device. Uh, I like having something like this in my toolkit when you're trying to debug what is going on with some of this GFCI plug wiring. Hey, I hope this video was helpful and I hope this information was useful to you. And as always, I hope you have a great day.